hello my friends, I'm Blitz, welcome back to Planet Crafter. We have large plans today. Between episodes, we got current stage of moss across our entire planet. It's nice and beautiful and mostly green. But today we have something else, the heater tier four. Wow, I almost timed that perfectly to do. We're gonna build up the tier four heater, which is the most expensive, biggest, nastiest heater in the entire game. Plus it uses a ton of energy, but we're gonna terraform this Martian planet into a beautiful green oasis. Now you can tell it takes a lot of iridium and thankfully between episodes, I went and found a bunch more. So I can go ahead and take this and go bark and then we'll do bark again. That is plenty of iridium right there, but we need to make up some super alloys and a little bit of explosive powder. Also, explosive powder is kind of expensive because it takes a lot of sulfur plus iridium, but thankfully I found a bunch of it. Oh, explosive powder, build me the secrets of your people. It also looks like we don't really have too much more iridium, so we'll just hold on to those for a little bit and I'll jetpack my way across this carpeted, grassy, mossy field right into our cave of secrets where there's plenty more iridium for us to gather. Thankfully, we also have this drill going crazy. Oh, it only has two in there for us. That sucks. Thankfully, there's a little bit more in this storage chest inside. And this stage of the game reminds me a lot of Subnautica, where it's just like resource collection going back and forth and left and right. This game really, really does need some sort of conveyor belt system. I think that's also interesting too. The previous heater did 28 0.5 heat per second by using 17.5 energy. This one does 538. So that's literally 20 times more heat for only like three times more energy, which also means that we might be able to destroy the ones that we have up here and then add some more to it. Unfortunately, we need a lot of super alloys because this one doesn't require them. So if we rip this apart, we'll get an iridium rod back, but we won't have the super alloy to complete it. So we'll just shove these back over into this chest, grab a buttload of other resources, Maybe we will do five at a time. Ah, uh, just kidding. I only have enough for four aluminum. And then we'll start cranking out some more of these super alloys. Yes, go. Hopefully there's a little aluminum right here. Oh yes, beautiful. All right, so we'll grab our iridium rods. I think I needed four plus two of those and enough super alloys to complete three of these heaters. We're gonna go upstairs. Oh boy, where should I remove them first? I'm gonna remove you guys first. Goodbye tier three heaters. I loved you, but I don't love you anymore. And then, oh, hot dang, these are chunky big. We'll climb back down. I think these might have to go outside. I don't even know where to put them, so I'm just gonna throw them in over here. Oh my word, that's large and in charge. Yes, please. Oh, I don't want the tier three, I want the tier four. Oh, they're so big. I love them already. Look at the terraformation index in the top corner, just going, nah, it's nice. Wonder how much excess power I have too. Uh, still 250. So I can put in like three more. These super alloys get really expensive though. That's okay because explosive powder is really fun to make. And that means I can make even more of these big ugly heaters. Yes, you're so beautiful. Nailed it. <laughs> I feel bad for this planet because we are the single source of global warming right now. Look at all of those greenhouse gases just going up into space. It's beautiful. Come on in and away you go. <laughs> this poor planet, it stood no chance as soon as I arrived. Look at that heat now, 72,000. And the best part is with more heat, I get to unlock the nuclear fission generator. It's at 750 UKs, UKs, but we'll get there pretty soon. Oh look, there's actual grass out here. Look, there's grasses. Oh, that's so cool. We're actually getting grass to grow and I'm picking aluminum. Like it's a plant, that's a little weird. Also, if plants are growing, could I take off my visor and helmet now so I don't have to keep eating oxygen pellets or whatever? Like for real talk, it'd be so much easier to not have to eat everything or drink and take water and words are hard and just like go and collect all the resources. Like that's the best way to play this game. I wonder if we can actually do that. Is there a time when we don't need oxygen? Maybe. I'm just gonna deconstruct everything that I see in these dialect ships. Ooh, nice, another mushroom. I was planning on going getting more of the super elements, but nah. Oh, we got a meteor strike outside. It's been a long time since one of these have happened. Oh yeah, there's a lot coming down. Oh, please don't crash into my domes though. Wow, hello there. 
General Kenobi. I'm also getting a decently large stockpile of eggplants and mushrooms, so time to cut these down into plasteel. I'll just do a little bit of boop, and then a little bit of bop, and then a little bit of... Aw, I can only make two. I guess I can make a lot of fertilizer because of the eggplants for days. Thankfully, I do have two of these bioplastic nuggets as well. So I'm thinking the next step we need to take is... Ooh, the gas... Ex zeolite? What is that? That's a new thing I've not heard of before. Automatically extracts gas from the ground. Wow, it does heat. And I have no idea what else it does. But maybe we should make some more of these flower spreaders because... Well, it does a lot of oxygen and that's a good thing right now. So we'll create up some fertilizer and then we'll grab some super alloys that I made up, find some nice, beautiful flowers and then just generically plant them in random locations. Good job, flower spreaders. Do your thing where you spread flowers. Ah, oh, balls, no more fertilizer. So I guess we'll have to fly into this nasty, stinky area full of sulfur and get as much of it as we can. I'm probably gonna need to put down an extractor in here too, but there's a few pieces of sulfur left that I don't need to extract. I also can't seem to see because there's so much yellow dust in my eyes. Ooh, aluminum. Whoa, green meteorites. All oh, those look so cool. I don't know why they're crashing down in here. Why is it meteor and day all of a sudden? Hot dang, that's kind of scary. Especially since they're all green and shiny and stuff. Wow! <laughs> oh, you know, I bet that is. I bet it's just a filter because we're in like the yellow area here. So that was a pretty good uh, trip for sulfur. We could put some of these back where they belong. So we'll turn these into all the fun things like some fertilizer times two. Good. Oh, I can't do another one, but I can make some bioplastic nougats. It'd be like a, the inside of a Snickers bar. All right, is there another one? Yeah, there's another one. Cool. And then we can turn that into more nougat. I know it says nugget, leave me alone. But the good news is if I make a bunch of fertilizer, then I can make even more rockets gonna go into space and make the terraforming go even faster. Yes, eggplants. Who knew that eggplants made such good fertilizer? Good, that's three rockets I can create now. Unfortunately, I don't really have enough iridium to make three rockets, so I'll just make one. I'll gra grab my extra lerma seed. Go snake some more water out of here. And then fly up to the top of the rocket making machine. Bloop. Da. Yes, I got everything in the first. I don't have everything. I need tree bark. Thankfully, I have a tree bark farm right here, which doesn't make any sense. But whatever, I don't care. It's the only thing that I've figured out we can use tree bark for. Climb up to the top. Go like boop. And then shloop. Oh, it's beautiful. Dot com. Ready, get set, and activate. Boop. <laughs> We're gonna get so much more terraforming going on. Before that flies, I totally wanna see what it does to our numbers. 3594? Maybe that's already changed, I don't know. I guess I should have paid attention to what that was beforehand. Oh, interesting. This thing is now entirely underwater. Well, halfway underwater. That looks so cool. I love that. I wanted to head back down inside of this one and see if there's anything we missed. I'm assuming there is, but I definitely need iridium and some other resources. Oh, wow. Some of it's underwater in here, too. That's unique. Was not expecting that. I guess we're going swimming, my friends. What's in here? Eh, gross. I don't like that. But I'll get rid of it so I don't ever look at it again. Also, I have to sneeze. <laughs> I did that for you. Oh, hot dang, that burned out. Oh, there's a fusion reactor here. You remember that? All right, that was generically a pointless trip. We got more eggplant seeds. Oh, yay. Might as well throw, ooh, Lerma. We're gonna throw these in here. I really don't need any iron back at home. Oh, ice, I haven't seen that in a long time. Oh, wow. Okay, I found another store. Ooh, the, oh, wow, I didn't even see that. Hey, 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 Um, so many things. Okay, plasteel, we got, oh, some, I found so many, I got zoolite. Wow, wow, wow. Um, yes, I'm all frazzled. I've, I didn't realize we'd find that in here somewhere. I don't even know where I am. I, honestly, I have no clue where I am. I was just flying around. And then I found this tunnel that went underwater. And I was like, oh boy, there's a tunnel underwater. And I don't even know where it is. And there's another crash ship over here. And other stuff. Oh, I might actually run out, run out of stuff to live. Oh, boy. Yeah, another one of these. Go away, titanium. We don't like you anymore. What is this place? Where am I? That's the real question. You know, I should have just built up a structure here. I might die. That's not gonna be good. Dying hurts. Wow, there's so much stuff here. Another iridium rod. I can make a spaceship. Yeah, warning oxygen level low. Okay, fine, I'll drink that. And then I'll take that. And then, I mean, that works. I like the fertilizer. Can't they stack? Why can't things stack? Also, why are there so many crash ships on this planet? Oh! New blueprint, the Pulsar Quartz. That was my nickname in high school. Okay, so I have to go back up there if I want to go back in that little cave I was at. What was that? What is this? 
What? That's another. Why was? Why is that there? What do I not need? I don't need that. I need this. Huh? Okay. Oh, it's under like a log. Do you see that? We have logs growing now. I don't even know what to do with this stuff. I'm just so excited I got Zoolite. I didn't even know it existed like an hour ago. I also found two more chips. What do we get? Jetpack tier three? No more blueprints to decode for now. I literally have another one. The game's like, no, you've you've gone too far. So now that I got two Zoolites, I wasn't even expecting this, but I could make a gas extractor. I like gas extracting. So we just need one of these. What did I do with the Zoolite? Oh, balls. I already forget where I put it. Well, we need three super alloy. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, and then I think it might be in this one. Yes. Okay, gas extractor. I think this is where we extract methane because I saw we need methane for things. Let's, uh, let's cause even more global warming. Gas extractor. That's really not that exciting. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> methane cartridge. Oh, there's another Zoolite thing under here. It must just grow now that we have plants on the surface. Neat. Zeolite. Sorry, not Zoolite. I can hear you, keyboard warrior, smashing away. Like, oh, but I can't believe you mispronounced something wrong. Like usual, you're incompetent. I hate you. Go away. I'm subscribing now. I, I hear you. You're already doing it. Ooh, new blueprint seed spreader rocket. That's what I like to see. But if I go ahead in here and build up an iridium rod, then I can build up another rocket engine using these two parts. And we can go boop, boop. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it was green stuff, wasn't it? I need the green ones. And then I can go over here and I can go swoop de doop And then another one like zoop de doop And I'll create a few more super alloys. And I believe I can make another iridium rocket, which we really need. Global iridium asteroids. Yes, please. We're going to launch you up into space to cause even more global warming. It's all red and shiny and stuff. Yes, cause that asteroid strike. Now, I do want to see what the seed one does. Oh, GPS satellite. I should probably get that. Seed spreader rocket, mutagen, super alloys, bacteria samples, mutagens. Sounds like a fun word. Yeah, I'm splash. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I'm splash. It's going to bring me so much more iridium so I can make even more rockets. So I will just craft another magnetic field protection rocket. And this will heat up the planet a lot. Oh, yeah, you need to, you need to launch yourself, bud. Need to launch yourself. Yes, we need all of the iridium in the world. And with that, my friends, is the end of the episode. Oh, boy. <laughs> We're going to have to do a lot of cleaning up next time. But I think we have, ooh, another zeolite. But as I was saying, I think we have a lot of things going for us. The planet is looking nice and flora is within our grasp. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd also like to thank the Patreon and YouTube supporters, especially Alan H, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Beaninator, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hippias, Destructo Man, Eagle Lark, Maxer, Spencer T, VC Engineer, Whip It Good, Baron Fox, Zarnoff, Deegan, Jason M, Ral, Whiskey, Spider Sacks, Joe B, Fury Arrow, Doug Rules, Tube, Oh, Nerdy Geek, Skunk Chess, The Quarian, Link Hewitt, Bread, and Lewis.